I am Anil Kumar. In this particular video, we will derive an expression for half angle formula for tangent and then evaluate the given expression. Now this is a very important question from test point of view. So I like you to understand each and every step very clearly. For the benefit of some students who do not remember the formulas, let me derive the formula for tan theta by 2. Most of you may remember it. Uh, we begin with cos 2 theta formula which is which could be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1 so you can rearrange this writing uh, cos 2 theta we can bring 1 this side and write this as 2 cos square theta and to get the value of cos theta we can divide this by 2 so let me rewrite this as uh, cos square theta equals 2 uh, we'll divide this by 2 I'll write this as 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 cos theta should be then equal to plus minus we'll square root that term which is 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 now another formula for cos 2 theta which is double angle formula known to you is that is equals to 1 minus 2 sine square theta now let's rearrange this also we get 2 sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta or sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 or sine theta equals to plus minus square root of 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. So here we have formulas which relate the angle to double angle, right? So let me write down these as double angle formulas. Now to get half angle, what do we do? Very simple. We make a simple substitution. We can say let uh, 2 theta be equal to a. In that case, theta will be a by 2. So we get half angle. Do you see that? So it is as simple. Right? So double angle and half angle are really related <laughs> very much. The only thing is, see, we have sine theta here. So instead of theta, I'll replace it with a by 2. So I can write sine a by 2 as equal to plus minus square root of 1 minus cos 2 theta. I'll write this as 1 minus cos a, right? So we are replacing 2 theta by a, simple as that. Similarly, I could write cos a by 2 as plus minus square root of 1 plus cos a over 2 does it make sense for tan well let's divide them right so tan a by 2 clearly is equals to sine a by 2 over cos a by 2 which is this over that right which is 1 minus cos a over 1 plus cos a square root of course plus minus and those twos get cancelled. Now how do we decide about the sign? We decide about the sign based on the angle as you know all are positive here sine in quadrant 2 tan in 3 cosine in 4. So that becomes the formula. So we have derived our formula for half angle. So let's continue and evaluate the given expression tan 7 degrees plus tan 8 degrees over 1 minus tan 7 tan 8 degrees we'll use our half angle formula which is tan of let's say theta by 2 equals to plus minus square root of 1 minus cos theta over 1 plus cos theta which we just derived we'll also use the tan a plus b formula which is tan a plus b equals to tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b right okay 
So the given expression cannot be written as, let me write down the expression, which is tan of 7 degrees plus tan of 8 degrees over 1 minus tan of 7 degrees times tan of 8 degrees could be written as tan of 7 plus 8, right? All degrees using the formula, which clearly is tan of 15 degrees. Do you get it? Now we don't know what tan of 15 is, but we know that if I sketch this tr special triangle 30, 60, 90 in degrees 60 degrees, 30 degrees, that is 90 degrees, sides being 1, 2 square root 3. So we can from here find what cos of 30 degrees is. So cos of 30 degrees is equal to square root 3 over 2. So using this formula, we can actually evaluate tan 15. Since 2 times 15 is 30, right? So we'll use the half angle formula and we can write this as square root of 1 minus cos of 30 degrees divided by 1 plus cos of 30 degrees. Clear? So that is the application. Now cos of 30 degrees is known to us. Since you are in quadrant 1, we'll take positive value. It's plus and minus. Now you are in quadrant 1, we'll take positive value. So it is 1 minus cos of 30 degrees is square root 3 over 2. So 1 plus square root 3 over 2. Now 2 is common denominator so we could write this as equal to 2 minus square root 3 over 2 right in the numerator and 2 plus square root 3 I mean over 2 in the denominator. So these cancel away correct. So what you are left with is square root of 2 minus square root 3 over 2 plus square root 3. So that is the value. So we can say that the, the answer is square root of 2 minus square root 3 over 2 plus square root of 3. So I hope the steps are clear and that is how it could be done. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.